gave them to me and what occasion that they gave them to me for. They all have a story behind them. And, uh, you know, each one of these teapots, they had a different mold. Uh, probably this big teapot wouldn't fit in the mold for this little teapot. Yeah. It's made different. It's a different size. And uh, this teapot uh, couldn't be made from this mold. You know, each one of them, they're, they're all different. They're a different size. And so they, they were all made from a different mold. And uh, so each one of them is a different size, a different color, a different shape. But they're all unique in their own way. You know, I, I, I love every one of those little teapots. I, I just like them all. It doesn't matter to me what size it is or what shape it came in or, or anything like that because it's unique and distinct in its own way. And to me, they're all beautiful. And um, these little teapots kind of made me think of us as people. You know, if, if you look around, I don't know how many is here today, but if you look around, each one of us are different. Uh, we're different sizes. You know, I wish I was like little Dorma up here. <laughs> she's she's so tiny and petite. Mm -hmm. and, uh, but I'm not. I'm, I'm me. And uh, getting a little bigger all the time, but that's I guess that's okay, too. That comes with age, I'm told. <laughs> but anyway, we're, we're all a different size. Some of us are uh, larger than others. Some of us are smaller than others. And uh, if you look at all of us, you know I probably would be safe in saying that there are not two people here today that have the same color skin. Some of us are very light. Some of us are a little bit darker. Some of us, I, I noticed that, I forgot her name, but it's got the little baby back there. Right. She has such a pretty color, that beautiful tan, you know? Yeah. And uh, I don't know if it's natural or, or from the sun or whatever, but it's beautiful. Uh, and even the baby is dark complexion. Look how dark it is. It's so pretty. But we, we all, every one of us, have a different color skin. And then, uh, if you look at us, we all have a different color hair. You know, we're, it, it may be two here that you say, well, their hair is the same color. But if you get up close and start looking, you'll find that there is a difference. And, you know, some of us are brunettes, some of us are dark hair, some light hair, some red hair, some blondes, uh, and some of us only our hairdresser knows for sure. <laughs> 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 we'll not get into that. <laughs> but we all have a different color hair. And, uh, you know, we, we all have a different shape. I learned in beauty school that there are heart-shaped faces, there are round faces, there are square faces. Um, and, and that kind of sounds odd, but you know, we, we got to look and we got to pull our hair back and everybody got to examine each other, you know. And it's true. There's some heart-shaped faces, some square faces. Mine used to be the pretty oval, but now it's square. <laughs> uh, you know, time has a way of changing some things, but, uh, but we all have a different shape face, different shape body, different color hair. But you know what the good thing about it is? God made us all. And uh, he 
teammate is just the wife he wants us to be. Uh, sometimes we get aggravated with ourselves and we would change this and we would change that. And sometimes we do change some things. And uh, But we're all created by God and we are very important to him because we are his creation. And uh, I'm going to ask Norma to put the scripture up. I'm, I'm going to read from Psalms 139. And this is probably a scripture that every one of you have read different times. But I'm here today and I just want to remind you how important you are to God. Uh, and how much he loves you. He, he loves us with a love that being human, we can't understand it. We try to. And especially as mothers, we think, oh, how can God love me more than I love my own child? I mean, we love our children. There's just no comparison on this earth to the love that we have for our children. And we thank God, how can you love me more than that? But he does. He has a better understanding of what love is. And uh, I'm going to read uh, verse 1 through 18. It's kind of lengthy, but I want you to listen to the words to it and, and let it sink in just how important you are to God. O oh Lord, thou hast searched me and known me. Thou knowest my down sitting and my uprising. Thou understandest my thoughts afar off. Sister Edna, he knew when you thought you needed somebody to mow that yard. Yeah. He knew your thoughts when you knew what favorite flowers. You couldn't think of it. No. He knew it, didn't he? No. Okay. Thou compassest my path and my lying down and art acquainted with all my ways. For there is not a word in my tongue, but lo, O oh Lord, thou knowest it altogether. Thou hast beset me behind and before, and laid thy hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain unto it. Whether shall I go from thy spirit, or whether shall I flee from thy presence? Whether shall I, I'm sorry, if I ascend up into heaven, thou art there. If I make my bed in hell, behold, thou art there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost part of the sea, even there shall thy hand lead me, and thy right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, even the night shall be light about me. Yea, the darkness hideth not from thee, but the night shineth as the day. The darkness and the light are both alike to thee. For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret, and curiously wrought in the lowest part of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book all my members were written, which in continuance were fashioned, when as yet there was none of them. 